this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a really fun, quick design on this clear glass bottle. I've actually cut the bottom of this off. I'm going to be making wind chimes. So I've decided to paint some of them and make videos with the paintings. All right, the brushes that I'm using today are 2A Magic Round Brushes. It's a number 10 and 16, a number 8 Deer Foot Stippler, and a fine liner. All the paints I use are folk art paints, wicker white, thicket, happy green, fresh foliage, and tea berry, which I absolutely love this color. All right, so to begin, I'm going to dip my brush into the tea berry and just get the bristles full of tea berry and begin my design. Now, at this point, I'm just going to work on the front of the bottle because uh, for the purpose of the video, but I'm just going to go around, make the design, and then come back over it, finish the rest of the bottle once I uh, get finished doing the entire bottle. So basically, I'm just pressing the bristles down. And I want you to see this, just pressing the bristles down. The only thing I'm doing right now is just trying to go over them a little bit more to get them covered a little bit better. And so this design is just pressing the bristles down. It's kind of neat on paper. It's not maybe as neat on this design, or on glass, I should say, not this design, but on glasses that came out on my paper. I really like it, but it's, might, I might need to actually include it, another color with it to really show what I'm trying to do with it. But anyhow, it's just a matter of pressing the bristles down and pulling towards the center. And just making a neat little design. I'm going to go back over them a little bit just to add a little bit more paint to them. And then we'll just go like that. And come down here. I might just do a, just a, a little one down here all by itself. Not very big. But again, just pressing. Pressing the brush down. You can make the petals bigger if you want. That's up to you. But these don't have to be very big if you don't want them to be. And then I can come up here and just add some that are kind of off on their own, even though they're not buds per se, but they're, you know, up here, not part of the main piece that's in the front here. All right, so then I'm just going to tip the brush into the white like that, and I'll just keep tipping it in there as much as I need to to create the illusion that I want. And originally I was just trying to get it on the tips, but because it's so, so transparent without the white, I'm actually gonna push it into, you know, covering more of the, of the petal than what I anticipated. Because I was just trying to do just more of a, a real simple design kind of different, but like I said, I don't like the transparency of the paint by itself, so I'm going to find myself covering it. Because as you know, if you follow me, if you don't have good coverage, your design is not going to be very durable. And that is very important. Now these, when I'm finished, after I've baked them, I will also coat them with an outdoor varnish, just a spray varnish, just to give them some added protection. All right, so the next part that I'm going to do is stick my fine liner brush into the thicket 
into the happy green, into the fresh foliage. I'm going to use all these and I'll just keep tipping it in as I go, adding more to it as I need it. And see so with something like this, you can kind of bring it down if you don't, if you are okay with it, pretending to have a stem to it. Bring the stem down. But you can also fill the stem in with a lot of leaves and such. So maybe it's not even so much a stem, if that makes sense. But that's up to you. However you want to create your design is up to you. Okay, so we have that. The next thing I'm going to do is pick up the number 10 flat brush. And on this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of the thicket, kind of touch it in here, and just keep adding to this as I paint. And I forgot with this liner to add in, I'm going to add in some little stems to paint on like this, maybe even some like this, and I can just add some leaves to these as I want, come out from here, but again the thicker you put these on, the more durable, if it doesn't have that much paint it'll be easier to scratch off, you know I'm not sure because these are new as far as the durability goes, I'm hoping that with you know painting them with fairly thick paint and then coating it with a prime or a um, outdoor varnish that that will help and it's a spray varnish too just so you know I will go up the neck of the bottle I always do that and with these wind chimes that I'm making this will be the direction that it'll hang. It will hang because sometimes I'm worried about, oh, should I do this design upside down? Am I doing it the right direction? Well, it's fine. Oops, shot my paintbrush. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and paint these, these leaves. And so the leaves are just going to be, I'm going to touch and pull and pull them towards the stem as I'm going just pulling them towards the stem just putting them down that one's a little bit too transparent for me but you can paint them as you go and come back over add some different colors to them to make them fuller and I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm sorry if I'm waiting off of the screen here so what I mean that you can do your initial your initial stroke and then come back in and add more more color to it if you wish. And that one I picked up some of the tea berry on. Which I didn't really need. But it's okay if you want to have that on there. Just have to be careful. I probably shouldn't have done the, the stem right when I did because now I have to worry about touching it. Which if you watch my videos, you know I'm really good about putting my fingers in my paint as I'm painting, so. I mean, just come down in here, pull another one. Just very simple. Very light work, very simple work. Yeah, 
just look at it wherever you think you need to fill in that's where you do it if you like it you know with some open space and not all the glass covered hey that's perfectly fine you don't have to have the glass covered all you know completely if you're not a a floral or a leaf fan like me you know put it where you want it it doesn't have to be covered I just like to say that because I know I'm very well aware that I do a lot of of the leaves I just like them so much for whatever reason and you can even you know put some in that aren't actually hooked to a stem go back through and look and see where maybe you need to add um, maybe it's too thin you need to add a little bit more color to it just to make sure that they're they're trans or they're not transparent because that's the main thing this is not a transparent paint if you're doing those kind of designs you might want to ch uh, choose a different type of paint because that's not what this paint does all right so I'm gonna go back in load my brush and then I'm just going to come in here and start adding, start attaching. Again, when I do this, I like to just kind of go over the, the stem that I'm using or painting through. Just kind of make it a little bit whimsier. And so I'm going back and forth through some color here. Just very loose painting, very loose painting. Yep. There you have it. Almost done. Appreciate you sticking with me on this. And let's see which way did I do this? I can't even tell. Oh, we're gonna pretend it's this way. It's pretty bad when you can't tell which way you did it, right? Yeah, I'm not real particular about being exact or the perfection part of it. I like to be a little looser with my painting. I hope that makes sense. Let's see, you can kind of just fill these in a little bit. Just make them a little thicker. A little have some fun, just some waviness to them, not just straight. And that's why I like you know the different colors of green, or if you want to even do your your leaves don't have to be green. They could be other colors too. And we'll just keep going here. to make sure I get them all so you back through and look make sure you did again we're getting close to the end I do appreciate you hanging in there to the end any of these little things that I do if you don't like them just leave them out these are things I like to do but not everybody has the same the same thought process or the same likes, which is fine. Okay, so I'll make sure I don't touch on my paper here. Because then it'll ruin my design. But you know, don't worry about it, you can always fix it. 
one thing nice about painting on glass if you need to wipe it off okay looks like I kind of did some of it already okay alrighty I think that looks good all right the next step the finishing step and if you're new you will be learning that my designs are very simple I'm putting my Deerfoot stippler into the white I don't even know that I'm going to to wipe it off but I'm just going to put it in there sometimes I touch it to get rid of the excess paint but I'm not doing that on this one if you want if you don't like the pink being mixed in give it some dry time avoid that and then I'm going to stick it into the green just the happy green and I'm just going to come through and stick a little bit of the green on here and you can if you want if you don't like it to be kind of bloppy you can you know touch it onto you know a rag or your palette to, to get some of that off all right so here it is I will go ahead and finish the back of it because I am selling it I hope you like this video if you do give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel please make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and prior to leaving if you would Share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy.